I wear this necklace every single day. I don't take it off. It has a Bible verse, 1 Peter 5.10 on it, and that is after your season of suffering, God in all his grace will restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. And I feel like that's sort of been my life motto. I have been on a mental health journey that I've actually been kind of documenting on my TikTok account. Okay, so in a mental health journey, um, something that people don't really talk about is the amount of guilt and regret you may have once you can see that you have improved It's a lot. been really crazy the response I've gotten for that. I almost left the team last year due to my mental health, so I feel like at this point I owe it to myself and I owe it to everybody else out there that's been kind of following along with my mental health journey and um, with my running career as well. It's 6.47 in the morning and this is what I look like heading to school. Got my lunch, water, school bag, truck bag, another hoodie for work. After student athletes and a teacher that also works is nuts. Being a distance runner, you just have to persevere through a lot. Probably six to eight hours a week lesson planning on top of actually teaching. And that doesn't count walking to the library to print out materials and cutting stuff out. It takes all these little things and running also takes all these little things. The best things though about both of them is I get to be around people that I love. God had the perfect plan to place them in my life when I needed them. I feel so supported by them as a runner as a student athlete teacher god put me in the right places at the right time and i just i don't think i'd be here today without my faith it's just been awesome to grow with them the past few years and just to know that we're all going to be set up for great success in the rest of our lives and uh, we have a great friendship and that came from ball state track and field and that's something that i'm always going to cherish